Hunt with passion. Never stop casting. Chase the dream. Welcome to Season 7 of Musky Mastery Outdoors. Brought to you by Joe Booker Outdoors. Number one in big game fish products. Recon boats. Made by craftsmen. Built for fishermen. And by Great Lakes Potato Chips. Snack happy. Every chip. Every bag. Uh, I'd rather not to be. I'd, I'd rather not, but he's. It's a nice 40 incher. Um, Very nice. Thank you. Musky or northern? Uh, musky. Musky, okay. Yes, but check my channel out, though. I, I, um, I appreciate it, though. Let's see if she'll let us hold her up for the camera here. Wow. That is a beautiful fish, guys. Unbelievable right there. Gorgeous musky. Hammered it on the first big turn on the figure eight there. We'll get her back. That's a beautiful, beautiful fish. 500 Booker Tail Grape Flame getting the job done. Hey everybody, what's up? And welcome back to another musky segment here on the Musky Mastery YouTube channel. The Grape Flame 500 Booker Tail Tinsel, guys, does it again on a musky that I've been hunting for about a week. You can see the waves here, you can see the boat traffic. These muskies have been pounded by pleasure boaters, by musky anglers in tournaments. They've been very difficult to catch. For me, for the, for the uh, other professionals in the area, we're catching them, but it hasn't been easy. So, one of my tips when you when you get into this situation you're 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 hunting a muskie is just stay persistent like i said i've been after this muskie for a week and I, it's just a part of my milk run right now i try this muskie she keeps showing up when she's hot in pretty much the same location give or take 50 yards and this particular muskie always was chasing blades whether it was goldilocks black and nickel uh in this case she ate the great flame i mean i've had that muskie up numerous times in all different colors Finally got her to go. Um, second thing I want to point out here that you uh, you saw that's kind of unique on this fight is that I kept my rod down and I really tired that muskie out and I fought her around the boat. A couple reasons for that on this particular fish. One, in the stained water, I could not honestly tell. I, I really couldn't get a good look at how well this muskie was hooked. So I just instead of taking my chances and, and fighting the fish and keeping her in one locale, I said, you know what, I'm just gonna tire this muskie out as a solo angler. I need to put myself in the best position possible to net this muskie, which means tiring her out a little bit. And I knew I could do that by fighting her around the boat. 
Another reason that actually works pretty well is that it keeps a tight line and it keeps the fish down. Yeah, it's fun to see these muskies come up and tail dance and shake their head, but look, when you want to get them on camera, when you want to hold them for the nice photo, sometimes it takes a little bit of uh, dedication to, to the cause here when it comes to fighting a muskie properly. And in this case, I just really tried to keep my keep the rod down and keep this muskie down until I could tire her out enough to get the net on her. And um, it's not uncommon to do this, especially, again, when you can't see the muskie, uh, how well the muskie's hooked. And uh, that's kind of what I decided to do on this, on this particular fish. So, so there you have it, guys. Persistence and keep the rod down on a short line. You can see the waves here. I'm getting hammered with boat traffic, but we're going to keep at it. We got moonrise coming. I guess I should say one more thing, a third thing on that fish. She was within 30 minutes of the major period. So of course, I'm going at this fish, I'm talking about being persistent, I'm going at this muskie during prime, you know, moon phases, whether that's, and, and solar phases, sunrise, sunset, moonrise, moonset, moon overhead, or moon underfoot. This muskie was a moon underfoot, and that is what helped us seal the deal. All right, well, we got planes, trains, and automobiles flying over us here. I really hope you enjoyed this musky segment. And as always, thanks for watching.